The following program was recorded at Works Annual Conference in Orlando, Florida. I'm pleased to welcome Supply Chain Brain Editor Emeritus, Jean Murphy. Hello. Today I'm speaking with Andy Ricard, Vice President of Labor Management Solutions at TZA. We're talking about successful workplace management in the supply chain. Welcome, Andy. Thank you. Give us a little bit about the evolution of labor management solutions and how you see the market today. In the last 10 years, the market has really advanced. When I started in the industry, solutions were fairly simple, just an engineering solution with a supporting technology, not very robust. In the last 10 years, there's been a lot of development on the technology side, as well as the engineering side, but what's really blossomed is actually the human capital and the people side of the programs. So uh, there seems to be a lot of interest among companies in this. What do you think is driving that interest? It's got a bit of a fire behind it right now. Similar to the technology of the 80s and 90s, labor management seems to be the technology of the 2000s and the 2010s. So there seems to be a lot of emphasis on the human capital and the labor aspect being almost 50% or greater of the distribution operation costs. And with very strong ROIs, what we see is a, a very good interest in these types of programs. Tell me a little about the ROIs. What can companies expect? So the best have seen less than six months on their investment. Uh, other companies generally are always under a 12-month ROI. It's important to make sure that you right-size the project with the need and with the uh, company expectations. But without doubt, they're under a year which is very impressive for these types of programs. So what are the elements of a complete labor management solution? We break our program down into, into three basic pieces, people, process, and technology. Inside the process side, the best practices, make sure we're doing the job the right way, the safe way, the accurate way. Also then building the engineered labor standards around those. With the technology, you have labor management solutions. TZA offers ProTrack Warehouse as a management visibility tool to the key metrics to help drive their operation. Then you have the people side, which is what we're seeing a lot of advancement in, and where TZA brings to the table a lot of organizational development with turning managers into leaders, as well as those employees, and providing them with the knowledge and the skill set to be successful in these programs. So give us a little bit better feel for exactly what role technology plays in supporting um, these solutions? So technology is the visibility. A lot of times, historically, there's been manual calculations, there's been clerical work, there's been admin type of efforts to actually keep track of what an individual is doing. With today's technology, the calculations can become very dynamic, very specific, and very granular that allows for a very accurate and fair standard and performance metric to be provided to the individuals. So with the new technology, what they've been able to do is allow management teams and operations teams to focus on the change management aspect of these programs versus the labor capturing and the reporting aspect. So if a company was interested in looking at this kind of solution, how would you advise them to proceed? What should they be focused on? Understand that these are not technology solutions actually these are much bigger and make sure that you have a company that understands that they're going to go through a change. Big communication plans, make sure you have good areas of understanding on all levels of what their roles and responsibilities are and that they are prepared to uh, manage the change and then continue to manage the performance after the program has been rolled out. What kinds of resistance do you see from companies who um, you know, may, may, may not be quite sure they're ready for it. There's a lot of concern about Big Brother. So now all of a sudden we have a, a technology and a program that's looking very closely at the individuals, being able to provide very specific feedback about what the individual is doing. And sometimes that puts a, a culture in, a, in an uncomfortable place, uh, individuals in an uncomfortable place. So the resistance that you get is the natural resistance to change, but when the change is actually focused and able to identify individuals for their contribution, both uh, positive and negative, it does put a lot of emphasis on, uh, on the individual aspect. 
I know you said this is more than a technology, but I'm curious as to how um, LMS solutions work with, for example, a warehouse management solution. So there are several typical technologies that we interact with. You have your warehouse management, your time and attendance system, but also payroll and HR systems. You figure all of those four systems are, are pretty common in distribution centers today, and they keep track of your people, whether it be their um, you know, time and employment, whether it be the actual transactions that they're performing or when they showed up to work today. The challenge with those is that they don't provide you one central repository to be able to understand how your people are doing from end to end. Labor Management Solutions is able to pull the data in from all of those disparate systems and provide you true visibility to what your individual people were doing, your departments, and at your facility level so that you have true overall end to end visibility of your operations. And can you give me an example of how a company might use that information to improve its, its operations? Absolutely. The information that's contained within ProTrack or within labor management systems actually provides the ability to look at your true cost to serve. What does it take to fulfill an order? What does it take from a labor perspective? What does it take from a technology and equipment perspective? So that when it comes time to providing a better customer experience, to improve your customer service levels, to become more real time, you have all your data at your fingertips that allows you to really squeeze any of the waste out of your operation and improve that customer experience. I've seen some reports um, of people not getting the results that they expected. What might be the cause for that? Yeah, always the one out there that uh, you don't like to talk about, but it's a reality. And if we try to uh, avoid those, then we don't, we don't learn from them. Essentially, companies that don't appreciate that these programs involve people, process, and technology, and all three of those aspects need to be present in order to be successful, tend to go for the easy wins. Hey, let's just bring in a technology, let's bring in a visibility tool, and we'll have a lot of data. Well, data is not necessarily knowledge. You want to make sure that your people are comfortable, you want to make sure that they're confident, you want to make sure that they're trained on how to use those tools. It's no different than handing a hammer to someone who doesn't know what to do with it. You're going to potentially get more damage than you will success. Is this something that is, is particular to the supply chain or distribution arena, or are there other industries where, where your solutions would be applicable? So labor management was born out of essentially the manufacturing industry. It has come into the warehousing space in the last 20 years, and now is actually starting to spread its wing into other areas. So we see a lot of, of workforce management solutions or labor management solutions in healthcare and a lot of it in retail as well. What are some of the macro issues that are uh, driving companies to look more closely at their labor costs? I know there are a lot of them, but... Sure. Considering the last couple of years and the economics that we've been facing, there are a shortage of skilled workers and also with you know, healthcare costs going up, you want to make sure that you are able to objectively evaluate the employees and their contribution to your organization so that you can hold on to those that are really helping uh, meet your goals and, and your company objectives. And tell me a little bit about incentive programs and um, what your view of, of those are in terms of how well they work. Incentive programs are, are kind of the twist on, on labor management. So they are, when done right, can be very successful can actually encourage employees to work at a, a whole nother level. And unfortunately, when not treated correctly, uh, when they th you think an incentive program is strictly a performance enhancer and a quick boost, they also have a, a tendency to turn around and create a, a very poor morale or culture within the workforce. So incentives, when done right, are very successful. They're actually able to increase performance another 5 to 10% above a uh, engineered standards program without an incentive, but want to make sure that your management team is prepared to work in that charged environment. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. I've been speaking with Andy Ricard of TZA. Thank you for watching.